Hi, my name is Justin Schelp and I'm the founder here at Patch My PC. In this video, we're excited to announce the second public preview of our automated Win32 application management feature for Microsoft Intune. Now we've added a few features within this release based on your feedback. One of the first things here that you'll notice is we are running this on a Windows 10 client device. So previously our publishing service MSI would have required you to install on Windows Server only due to the WSUS requirement for publishing third-party updates. But now that we have a scenario where customers may use the Intune only feature, we are gonna allow this MSI to work on Windows 10 for a Intune only scenario. Now, one thing to note is that if you are running on Windows 10, you will still need to install the RSAT tools for WSUS in order to get by the installation. And that's due to some of the requirements that we have for processing through applications and updates. Now, as far as the MSI, uh, there's one new change here. Now, this is not currently active, but in the next preview, you are going to have the ability to automatically disable the Applications tab for Configuration Manager apps, as well as the Updates tab for WSUS Publishing. So if you did only want to use the Intune features, you're going to be able to turn off everything during the installation of the MSI if that's all that you need. Okay, so let's go ahead and launch the service. Now, one thing to note, the first time that you run this, if you are on Windows 10 client, the current build will give you a notification saying that it was unable to connect to the WSUS service. Now, this is uh, going to be resolved in the next version, the next preview version, where you will not get this prompt if Intune is enabled and you don't have any updates enabled for WSUS. We're gonna disable that check in that scenario. But we do have some features we wanted to get out here, even with this warning, you can just click okay and ignore that if you're only using the Intune functionality. Now, the first video covers some of the requirements such as creating the application ID and how you can choose to copy assignments from previously created apps when there are new applications available. Um, the only change here that we do wanna cover from the first video is there is a new requirement for the Graph API. So when we initially configured our graph API for our application uh, connection, we only did the device management permissions to create apps within Intune. Now, if you want to use the new option to automatically create assignments to Azure AD groups, you will want to go in and add the group permissions within the graph API for the application key that you created. Now, this will be covered in the first video. If you want to learn how to create your application's ID and the secret key, within this tool. Now, as far as the features that are new in this build, if we go to the application itself and we search for a product that we wanna enable for publishing as an application to Intune, we're gonna have a new right-click option called Manage Assignment. So this is going to be where you can automatically create assignments from our application to automatically assign these applications that are created in Intune to Azure AD groups. So this is actually quite helpful because what you would have previously had to do in the first preview build is you would go through and create all these different applications, but the assignment of the apps would have to be done through the Intune console. What we're doing today is giving you the ability to automatically assign groups directly within our tool. So once these applications automatically get created, you can also have them automatically assigned to different groups. Now this feature is available at the product level. So you can choose a specific product to assign it's available at the vendor level, so you can enable all products within a vendor to assign, and it's also available at the all products level. So even if you came through here and added, say, 100 applications, you could go through one time if you wanted to make these apps available all to a specific group and automatically assign those using a single click here. So to show you what that looks like, I went ahead and clicked on the all products tab. I'm gonna go ahead and choose to add an assignment and this is where you get a few different things. So you can see all your custom Azure AD groups here, as well as some of the, the built-in ones. So for this scenario, we're gonna make an available deployment to the all users group within Intune. So we'll go ahead and choose okay on that. Now you can also click on the group that you selected for additional uh, attributes. So for example, you can choose the application availability time. By default, it's gonna be as soon as possible. You can choose any type of grace periods for restarts if one is required, as well as if you wanna allow the users to snooze any restart notifications. Now, just to show you an example of what a required deployment would look like, let's say we wanted to target a separate AD group for required, same type of thing, you can click on that there. And the only main difference here is that you would also have to choose the deadline if you chose a required deployment. 
Um, for this example, we'll go ahead and remove that. Now you can also choose whether you wanna install for all users or per user, depending on the group you select, as well as what type of notifications that you wanna show by just toggling that option within this group box. Now that's all we'll do for this demo. You can also do an uninstall assignment if you wanted to. So we'll go ahead and choose okay. Now, since we assign this at the all products level, if we go ahead and look at Google Chrome, we can see it's automatically been enabled for the assignment and we can see that the group is assigned based on the all product selection. And of course, that's also gonna apply for 7-Zip. So within a single assignment that we created, it would have automatically applied to all sub-products if we applied at the all products level. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply these settings. And then what we're gonna do just to uh, get this kicked off, we're gonna go ahead and run a synchronization. So what that's going to do is go ahead and trigger those applications to get automatically created within Intune from our publishing tool here. Now, if we jump over to Intune while we wait for that to download and upload and create the uh, application and the assignment, we can just go ahead and refresh here and see that we didn't currently have any Win32 applications created. So we'll just pause the video for a couple minutes while this goes through the creation process for the Win32 apps, as well as that auto assignment. Okay, so looking at the patchmypc.log, we can see that Google Chrome was published. So we can see that it went through, download our latest uh, Chrome version from Google. It went ahead and created that uh, application. It then uploaded it. And here's where we can see that new feature where it automatically created the assignment to the all users. So if we come back in here and do a refresh, we should now see that the Google Chrome application is now auto created. And we'll notice that the assignment tab is also going to be set to yes. So we can see that it's automatically assigned. If we go ahead and click in on that, we can see that in addition to all the properties that you would expect, like the metadata, icons, et cetera, um, if we look at that assignments tab, we're gonna notice that it's already deployed to that all users group based on that right-click action that we applied at the all products level. So we can see that if we jump back to the apps, it looked like we, we did have the 7-zip applications that were already getting created. Let's see if they're both created and assigned. So we can see that they are in fact both created and they're also automatically assigned to the all users group. So as far as the second preview goes, the, the big things that we did is we allow installation on Windows 10 now, and we can now automatically create assignments for you so that you don't have to manually do that within the Intune console after the applications are created. I hope these features are helpful and please let us know if you have any feedback for any future features that you'd like to see for Microsoft Intune. Thank you for watching.